And for your late week tomorrow fix, uh, we got a little bit more news. Jared, what we what's going on with some mystery Aurora? There's things going on at Jupiter, and oh my gosh, there are some very awesome things that are going on at Jupiter. Thanks to the Juno mission sending back early data uh, from its orbit as it's going around Jupiter, specifically about the aurorae that are around Jupiter right now. So those aurorae are kind of defying the expectations of what we expect, uh, because at Jupiter, the aurorae, they're about 30 times more energetic uh, than they are here on Earth, and Jupiter's been known to have those powerful aurorae for quite a while. But there's some mysteries as to where exactly they appear on Jupiter, and that the aurorae are not consistently present at Jupiter either. Now, unlike here on Earth, the aurorae don't always appear at polar latitudes. They can actually appear a little bit lower than that. And this may have to do with most of the radiation around Jupiter generating its own aurorae. So a lot of the aurorae uh, energy that we see around Jupiter actually comes from ions that are getting stripped off of the moon Io. Um, now, by studying the aurorae, scientists are using Jupiter as basically a planet-sized physics lab, and they're running the models, they're comparing what they're actually seeing at Jupiter to what we can do on our computer simulations, and then from that, we can figure out maybe how aurorae here on Earth can be influenced by things other than just the sun or the Earth's magnetic field, and from that, we can then determine how the aurorae on Jupiter are also being influenced as well. So even though we're still a little early in the Juno mission, that early data that's coming back from it is really starting to reveal that Jupiter does have a lot of mysteries left and that we're going to have to spend quite a bit of time working those mysteries in order to actually solve them. So some really exciting results that came out of the Juno science uh, mission this week and uh, some very cool stuff that we have happening out there. Since, you know, we lost Cassini, now we've got one spacecraft in the outer solar system to work with, so Aww. here it is. Tear. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you're interested in conversing with us about those mysteries and more, you can always join us every Saturday at 1800 UTC, or feel free to check out our past episodes like this last week, episode Orbit 10.34.